become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, golden era bookworm here, continuing on the topic of pre -bolix. Today I'd like to talk about one of nature's true superfoods and that of course is liver. Liver has long been treasured by bodybuilders as a superfood for creating an anabolic environment for muscle growth. A practice that has almost completely faded out into memory, bodybuilders during the golden era used to down liver tablets like candy. But why? Well, today I'd like to detail the incredible nutritional profile of liver and the different ways that this staple old school bodybuilding food can be incorporated into modern bodybuilding diets. Enjoy. The practice of eating organs has been a long held tradition for millennia with our ancestors as well as native indigenous populations that valued the nutritional profile of organ meats such as liver. Uh, typically mammals, uh, fowl and fish were the choice uh, from, from which the source of liver came from in these traditional and indigenous diets. Uh, now of course, nowadays, we can find liver from our local butcher who would normally sell uh, high welfare or organic um, liver as, as, an, as an actual food. So uh, typically one can find at your local butcher, domestic uh, pig uh, liver, ox liver, lamb liver, calf, chicken, goose or cod liver, all of these different varieties are of course available. And um, the methods of preparation of course um, uh, are as varied as meats are, right? So you can bake it, you can boil it, you can broil it, you can stir fry it, or even eat it raw as some uh, indigenous and, and um, traditional cultures still do. Now, if we look at the nutritional profile of liver, one can immediately realize why it is such is, is regarded as such a, a superfood for um, bodybuilders. It is very, very high in vitamin A. It has the complete vitamin B complex, especially in particular, a very high amount of vitamin B12. It is an excellent source of folic acid, a very good source of vitamin C. It is rich in iron and copper and a great source of potassium and phosphorus. So we're talking about vitamins of a very high profile for vitamins and minerals. Here is a table that I've pulled off from the Wikipedia page that you simply uh, type in liver as food and you'll get this profile. Um, you can see the uh, percent uh, daily values, uh, for example, for, for vitamin uh, A, the different B vitamins is uh, usually either 100% or well over it. Uh, so, so you can see that the nutritional profile of 100 grams of liver, for example, contains almost eight times over eight times the recommended daily intake for vitamin A, two and a half times the recommended intake for vitamin B2, and well over a thousand times, um, I should say not a thousand times, well over 10 times, sorry, almost 11 times the amount recommended for vitamin B12. Uh, and almost double the recommended amount for iron. Yes, definitely liver is an absolute uh, superfood with a wonderful nutritional profile. Now, one of the major issues that people find with eating liver, of course, is the taste. The flavor of it, of it is not exactly palatable to everybody. Uh, I mean, there are different measure, um, methods of preparation. One of the most pleasing, I have to say, is, is pate, which is very popular here in Europe. Um, but if you are, for example, yeah, not, not still not finding things like pate even uh, palatable or you find it just hard to eat cooked liver because you don't like the taste. Desiccated liver is available, of course. Uh, NSP Nutrition sells their uh, tablets, so the desiccated beef, defatted uh, 500 milligram tablets. Um, and this has been around, this company has been around since the time, of course, of the uh, 70s when it was established by Vince Gironda. And seeing that Vince Gironda was a high advocate or a very, a very uh, big advocate, I should say, of desiccated liver, of having liver, of having organ meats, 
um, he of course sold it under his line of supplements. If you use my code GB20, uh, you get a 20% discount, not on just the liver, but on all their different products. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you, if you, again, if you find it difficult to eat liver in your diet, because yeah, simply it's, I know that I understand that it's not very palatable. This is an excellent form of ingesting liver because it's simply taking the tablet. It's very convenient to take and can take it with you everywhere. And uh, yeah, this is probably one of the most easiest methods to do it. The bodybuilders did it back then. They used to take many, many liver tablets during the day because it was a very convenient way of doing it. And of course, one of the great advantages of having desiccated liver especially as, 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 a, as a, a tablet or powdered form, uh, is that usually the method of, of creating these tablets actually keeps and preserves the nutritional quality of raw liver itself. So you don't lose on any of the uh, nutritional profile that is inherent in raw liver through processing or through cooking. Right. This is one of the, I guess, disadvantages of of having heavily cooked liver or processed liver is that, of course, a lot of the great nutrients that you find in liver would probably already be um, this. This nutritional profile is most likely to be decreased. However, having desiccated liver definitely preserves the nutritional quality of raw liver. So you're getting all the goodness uh, that you would normally get from raw liver. And it's definitely much easier to take than raw liver. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the subject of prebolics, I highly recommend getting on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com, where you'll find titles both from Vince Gironda and Rio Blair talking about prebolics, the, the principle of prebolics. For example, Vince Gironda's The World Physique talks about many of his diets, not all of them, but many, along with the supplementation program uh, that is the prebolic supplementation programs. These are in the World Physique. And of course, if you want a full list of all of Vince Gironda's diets that he ever wrote, uh, you can find that on my own book that I, that I actually wrote after researching all of Vince's diets, along with the prebolic supplementation. It's all in there on Vince Gironda's diets, uh, the book. Uh, on my website www.goldenerabookum.com and you'll also find more on prebolics on Rio Blair's uh, book titles as well all available on my website www.goldenerabookworm.com so I do hope you've enjoyed this video on liver which of course has to do with the series that I've started on prebolics and I will continue to talk about this very very um, special topic that I, at least I really find uh, very interesting, very fascinating to see um, the the particular supplements and the method of supplementation, uh, the reasoning behind the supplementation from the golden era, um, this nutritional style, which has uh, long been forgotten and replaced now by um, whey, pre-workouts, etc. I think it's so focused nowadays on just the protein side of it that I think the, the, the topic of prebolics is, is, is fascinating simply because it explores uh, a different side to creating that anabolic environment and that is through supplementation of super superfoods such as such as liver glands uh, dried glands that is and um, different types of oils etc all which, which are supposed to at least theoretically supply the correct uh, hormone precursors for creating that anabolic environment to help with muscle growth um, Today's topic was liver and I will continue to talk about liver uh, again in future videos. And again, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Leave me your comments and thank you for watching. Um, to find products, uh, pre-bolic supplementation products, please visit uh, NSP Nutrition. Here is the new look to the website where you find, for example, Vince's original milk and egg protein, uh, dried ad adrenal glands, dried, um, uh, yeah, defatted, desiccated liver, and many other products that are all excellent for starting up this kind of prebolic supplementation. Uh, anyway, if you wish to support my research as well, please donate via PayPal. Uh, you can donate, uh, sorry, I already said that, you can uh, join my Patreon, you can visit my website, www.goldenerabookum.com for how to print books. And um, 
courses as well as well as self-written books and you can also please uh, email me if you have questions especially if you wish to collaborate or pass on your memorabilia magazines or books and if you are on nsp's website to purchase any of their pre or any of their pre bolic supplementation products please use my code gb20 to get a 20 percent discount off all products anyway that's it for me hope you've enjoyed the video this is the golden era bookworm bye for now to take full advantage of my affiliation with NSP Nutrition and Old School Labs, please visit their respective websites and use codes GEB20 or Bookworm12 to get a discount off their selected products. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.